SIT Industries. Uh, we are from Germany. Yes. A remote diagnostic and focus system for every vehicle and from any repair service. In Germany, we have the problem if you have an error code on the car, so you have to go to the repair shop. With our technology, if you have an error code, you can call the repair service and the repair service can check remotely what is wrong with your car and then take an appointment with you or delete the error code. You call the uh, repair shop and the repair shop can uh, link to your car from the internet and check out what is wrong. Develop the software, uh, the hardware by ourselves. We have partners from for the hardware uh, from Taiwan. And with our solution, we are able remotely to get the same data from the car, and the repair shop can give you an answer if something is broken or was it a sporadically error. Or we applied for a Taiwan-based company because we want to have the sales in Germany and we want to outsource our research and development to Taiwan because the manufacturers we were working together are based in Taiwan too and we have better possibilities here to develop a greater product. Burdened by the routine tasks of being an Airbnb host, sending welcome messages for every new booking, reminding guests to check in and out on time, manage cleaning, handle cancellations, improve your listing's visibility, update pricing. When you have multiple properties, your work grows until you have no time for anything else. What if there was a way to automate all these tasks for you? Meet Airhost, automated welcome message sent to your guest for every new booking. Check in and check out reminders. Auto notify cleaner about new cleaning tasks. Alternate bookings when guests change their travel date. What if a guest cancels? We notify the cleaner automatically of the cancellation. Auto adjust prices according to occupancy rate. Update calendar every day for better SEO. Display your property's health status. We even visualize your P&L. Intelligent Product Catalog Manager. But, but today, majority of the time, the first way you learn about a product is online or digital. You don't learn about product physically. Second part is, some products require multi-channel. Multi-channel means you should be able to buy it online or experience it offline, buy online or experience offline, buy offline. Once it integrates with multi-channel, right, it gathers the intelligence from the market, tell you what should be the optimal price for your product is and what your competitors are selling it. And the third part I do it is I do sentiment analysis. I give them a view how consumers feel about their product. And then based on that, I give them suggestions what they can improve in their product, what they can improve in their product to make it more enticing for the consumers. So what we did is we divided our product into two parts. In one part, what we are doing it is for each country, we are collecting all the product information and feeding it to our creating a large repository of a product data set. So this is our global product catalog. This market insights come from our global crawling data where we collect all this information so that they can know in which category, what should be the price of this product should be, how it would be, right? Second part is, once your product information is there, you sell at different prices on different channels. If you're a B2B business, if you're a B2B business, you want separate product catalog for each distributor and each retailer because different distributor will have a different product set, different prices, right? My product catalog manager, and then integrate with Amazon or Yahoo, or if Momo has a vendor platform, you can integrate with Momo. If uh, you know PC Home has a platform, you can integrate with PC Home. And it will automatically you know, synchronize your product information with them to manage their product catalogs intelligently. Track app, and we are doing uh, electronic trackers. When I was young, um, I went uh, in my uh, hometown, I went to, to the beach to do some sports and when I came back, no more bikes. So I went to, to go to the police and they said, yeah, but you have to prove. Right. And I noticed that in Europe, there are more than two, billion, um, two million bikes stolen every year. To, to put inside uh, bikes in case of theft or in case of accident. And also what we call the bike passport. We choose a Sigfox because it's uh, very simple to use. Yeah. Uh, and we have a battery who can last between six months and one year. You can equip our tracker in, 
in any bikes. Uh, once you log in, you will have the access to your bike list. Find all the bikes that you own and all some details. A profile page with some basic statistics, general information, so when it has been bought, uh, who is the owner, the brand, and the where it is, where it has been. They have a, on, an open API which we are going to connect with the sports application and he's going to be able to access all kind of statistics. So to, to meet some uh, bikes uh, manufacturer like uh, Giant and uh, uh, tons of bikes in Europe, uh, the company, um, they do the assembly of the bikes in Taiwan before ship them to Europe.